Hello and welcome to The Slice. My name is Michael and today we have a super special guest. Her name is Tracy. Hi, Tracy. How are we? Hi, I'm very, very good. Thank you. And how are you? I am better for seeing you. Are you excited to be on The Slice today? I'm so excited to be on The Slice. Like, thank you for giving me this opportunity, Michael. It's like literally amazing. Yeah. So, well, um, the fact that you a little bit like, Whoa! The know? fact that you've just said it's amazing and you're excited and you're saying all the right things, then I'm. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you here. So, have you seen the show before? I have, yeah. So I always you know, have a little watch of other people, so we sort of know what's going to come. But everyone's an individual, aren't they? So they are. I haven't got a clue what you're going to throw at me today. I don't have a, a clue what I'm going to throw at you, but I'm going to throw something. And so I'm going to start the 10 minute timer. So 10 minutes to talk about your business. I will ask you some video related questions. Um, are you ready to go? I'm ready. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. When the timer is ended, that's the end of the conversation. So your timer has started. So Tracy, for those that don't know who you are, who are you and what do you do? I am a commercial photographer and my business is Tracy Hannah Photography. So I specialize in commercial photography. So this can be anything to do with for a business to have got a website or social media platform. And um, so I help businesses um, improve their images, improve their visibility with high professional quality images, which can then obviously be used on your social media um, um, website. So in terms of photos, I know we discuss this uh, in various networking groups that we attend together. Uh, the importance of professional photography, how important is it in today's world? Oh, it's so, so professional. Like, I can't stress this enough. Like, if you have professional images on your website and your social media platforms, you're going to give your business that professional look it needs. Um, I know we have, like, uh, you know, the the... Um, phones and stuff which have amazing mm -hmm. cameras on these days but it's not just about snapping a photograph there's a lot more behind that it's about telling a story with your images and that can include your colors you know getting the right scene behind you it all just depends on your business so professional pictures is going to give your business that professional look and that's so so important because the amount of businesses that are alike and the amount of competition you know you need to stand out and that's it and I think you know it's it's interesting you say that because yes you can get a good photo from your from your phone but professional photo obviously there is a higher definition automatically and you know it's not just a case of what your camera can do it's about how you with your experiences know how to get the snap that you're looking for and again branding is very important as well so it's understanding that you know somebody might say to a friend oh get a couple of snaps at me here doing this and it might you know those photos might look great but they don't actually tell a story and they're not actually in keeping with the brand and the image that you are supposed to be portraying and so I suppose with your job it's not just a case of taking photos and color grading it's it comes down to other things what what key things Things do you come across? Uh, lighting, colour, um, use of props, the actual area that what you want to be in. So if I was doing a branding shoot, I would usually say to you know that owner of the business, if it was location, mm -hmm. where are you most comfortable, which mixes with your you, you know your business. Um, I've done branding shoots with um she was a mortgage advisor, so she lived on this lovely little estate. So she wanted pictures there because that was the area that she loved. And it just all, it all came through on her images. And it's so important to feel comfortable while having your pictures taken. So if you're in an area that is not very comfortable, that's going to show. So every it, it boils down to everything, you, you know, where you're comfortable, the colours that you're using, uh, as to say, the props, and just being able to bring out that personality in you and your business as well to get that across mm -hmm. to your audience to be able to... So they see your pictures and just think, oh, my God, this picture person looks really relatable and friendly. I want to work with this person. So, it's, you know, there's so much more than just snapping a um, button on a camera. Lighting is a massive thing. hundred percent. hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> it, that, that does translate with video as well, because obviously, yeah. you know, a lot of people say, oh, what phone have you got? And I go, I've got this phone. And they go, your videos are always really, really like good for, for the fact that they're a phone. I mean, not all of them filmed on a phone, um, but it's like, wait, it's lighting, like, you know, any any video or photography is, it's 80% 
lighting like you know yeah, your camera's got to be able to read the situation uh, with the sensor in, in the in the camera okay. um what type of uh, people do you like to work with who are the main kind of people you you've worked with recently um there isn't a certain type because i get a lot of it can be male or female I've had a mix of both. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, with COVID, I've had a lot of businesses when the first um, hit of COVID lifted. I had a lot of businesses come to me wanting brand and shoot. So it was quite a lot of them were ladies at the time because of the network and that mm -hmm. I was in was mainly women. Um, but yeah, anyone that's got a business really who's really passionate about their business and really wants to make a difference and move forward. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah. I can take quite a lot of boxes, really. But the, the last shoot I've done was uh, a young girl who had, uh, she's got like a, she's in fashion and she started um, workshops, you know, bringing out people's confidence through, oh, yeah, through yeah. the photo shoot. So she was, she was a lot younger, but that was such a fun day. So yeah, I'm quite versatile who I work with. I can mould around to whoever I'm working with. So I've got quite a big personality. So I can. I and can that's, be, that's the know, main thing. That's the main thing. It's having the personality, isn't it, really? And I think, you know, people invest in people in today's world, which leads on quite nicely to my question about video, because obviously I like to obviously speak to uh, people that come on the show about video and ask if you implement video. So I'm going to simply ask you, do you implement video in your business? No, I haven't done. And I know this is something I really need to do. Now, on the last shoot, one of the girls had a makeup artist and she was doing a lot of behind the scenes stuff. And you know what? It was literally amazing because so many people want to see the behind the scenes mm -hmm. stuff. It makes you more relatable to people. It makes people want to work with you because they're seeing that. I actually, you know, I actually have fun with them people in front of the camera. Yeah. And to a lot of people, it's quite dull. And you know this when people get in front of the camera, they can freeze or, you know, it's hard sometimes to get the personality out to. People being being able to see that fun side of me makes a difference. So video is definitely something I want to work more with in the future, definitely. It's, I mean, it's done behind the scenes stills, but you know, it's different, isn't it? You're it's fu it. it's funny that you say that because like, you know, you, you'd want a, a camera guy following you around getting some like photos and videos and I, I need someone following me around taking photos uh, and videos for me uh, and you could just have right. a trail you could just have a trail of professionals following you around doing everything um but you know in terms of obviously being a, a photographer um and this is something I've wanted to ask many photographers do you have a, a an issue with being in front of camera because you are someone who is normally behind camera Okay, so this is where it slightly differs because when I was younger, I used to do a lot of modeling. So I've been on the other side of the lens and I've felt how daunting it can be mm -hmm. working with male and female photographers. Um, so I've got a bit of, uh, you know, I've got a lot of experience being in front of the camera and on the other side. So it makes it a little bit easier for me to make people calmer being on the other side. Um, so yeah, it doesn't bother me being in front. But I'm very picky with my <laughs> photographs as well. It takes me about 50 selfies to get in front of my phone. To get I do that though. That's normal. Everyone, it's funny. Everyone thinks that I can just knock a video out. And, you know, sometimes I can do that. I did one in nine minutes once where I was really impressed with, but I just waffled. Um, but I do a lot of Facebook Lives as well. So I, I, I suppose, and because I am a performer as well, I suppose I can improvise and work my way through anything really. Um, but in terms of obviously... You know, so you've been in front of camera. Why Why is it that you feel that you don't, you know, just get your camera out, buy a little clip on mic and vlog? Or why do you feel like you haven't taken that step into video? I don't know. I think it is. In terms of speaking in front of people, that's not an issue. I've done that in the past with other jobs and stuff like that. So it's not like it's a scary thing. I don't know. I think it's just, I actually don't know. I don't know. But could it be lack of content? Maybe you don't know what to film? Yeah, or... I think that's more it because obviously being concentrating on the social medias and the images and, you know, what to put up. And I think that is more like come to blog and know I'm rubbish when it comes to writing, but vlogging, there's no reason why I shouldn't be doing it. Um, and yeah. I think it is, obviously you've got to put the work in and you've got to get your, you know, you know what you want on your vlog and stuff. So that's probably it, but it's not really an excuse not to do it. <laughs> Well, I mean, I have my own vlog and I've 
I'm probably at week 10. I think this week will be week 11. That's normally how numbers work. Um, but I I mean, I started the vlog in lockdown. We are still in lockdown. So I'm not going out as much. And if I was doing a vlog, I would normally do a lot of B-roll. I would go out and, and show bits of my week. But I'm not actually doing that. So a lot is just sitting here in this room talking to a camera. So I just had the, in my head, I just thought, well, do you know what? I am literally just going to film and talk about what I've done this week and, and you know, it will progress. I think sometimes it's just a case of just do a vlog. It might be awful, but just do it. And then it will mold itself into what it will end up being. So maybe you just need to, to do that. You just need to do it, yeah, and stop procrastinating. Just, it, yeah, yeah, basically. So, anyway. So maybe then it's just a case of you just need to get out there and do it and maybe, you know, talk about the behind the scenes. That's, you know, when you're out on location, you can just film all the behind the scenes stuff and then mm. come home and talk about it and piece it all together. Do you think yeah. that's something you could do? Would that be something you'd want to do? There's a timer. There's a timer. And I think I stole quite a lot. I think I probably took up your last minute. So I'll let you answer that last question if you want. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's definitely something I would want to do. Do you know what other thing as well? It puts me off as obviously you do video and I do the photography bit. So it's like when it comes to the editing side, and this is where your courses would probably like really benefit me, is when it comes to like if I need to edit it slightly, where there was draft. So yeah. So well, that's that's a conversation for another day. But I would I would easily just say to you that I think you can if you've got a Mac or you've got a PC, there there are built-in editors where you can literally just get your conversation down, piece together all the bits you want, cut it all up, and you can jump cut so you can take out all the bits that aren't important. You know, put it into some you know a nice one to two minute video, and then just overlay your images and your B roll on top, and that's all you do. I know that, yeah, yeah that, I've just made that sound so yeah, easy. That's all but, you do. <laughs> but, but yeah, that's probably, that's one thing that will have um, put me off a little the, bit. The key thing is, is just keep doing, just, just get it done. Don't procrastinate. Don't think, oh, you know, because the perfectionist in us will always stop us from doing it. But that's it. That's the end of the conversation. So um, I felt like I had to give you a little bit extra because I, I waffled a bit. But did you enjoy that? Yeah, that was really good. It went so quick. I, didn't, I feel like that was just like a couple of seconds. Well, it, it probably was. Well, <laughs> I, no, I definitely did put 10 minutes, making sure yeah, it was five down. Um, well, thank you very much for coming on to the show. I really appreciate it. If anybody would like to watch any previous episodes, you can head over to youtube.com forward slash take the cake pro. If you would like to see when I post all my latest videos, then don't forget, click the bell. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all soon.